Alright, so Sky, Sky mains out there. If you're a Sky main, this is how you play Sky on Bind. Boasted from the future. Yo, what's up, peeps? I'm up, back, okay, baby. Okay, so they're all dying. I'm just gonna throw a flash because I have two. No pop flash there. They could actually take TP here. They cannot play solo. So that flash didn't get any info. Um, that. So I started running to A, but then my, my teammates push tech? showers here. Yeah, so I'm like, hmm. They could they actually go to, to be here? If they came out hooker then, I'd play off that angle on the tube, the jump down angle. And now they haven't come out hooker, so I've managed to get to long, which is quite a good position for hooker. But now I'm scared that actually, what if they walk up long? So I've gone to this position, I wasn't really sure if they're going to check me or not. But I get two. Nice. One more, he's running up the side. Oh, I shouldn't have shot that shit. That was a cheeky little position to get into. Normally, like, you'd spot it, but I was like, I don't think they'll check me. And they didn't check me, but I wish I kind of didn't shoot them. Mm. I just wasn't confident if they were going to check me or not, because that situation's Ten never happened left. to me in my life. My biggest tip when it comes to lurking... I, like I checked that, right? I feel like you checked that. My biggest tip when it comes to lurking or being in a kind of ratty position is ask yourself this question. Do the enemies know I'm there? Or will they expect me to be there? If they don't expect you to be there or they don't know you're there, then don't shoot the first person you see. Okay? So that's my biggest tip. Next round. Oh, and my other biggest tip is don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm going to buy Spectre again stream. The reason why I think smokes are good to have is because if teams come in hooker, a hooker window smoke is like super strong, you know? Mm. And you get that in other ones as well. What I like to do is throw my flashes against the walls. It means I can have my gun out and not really focus on anything else. Yep, and as a Sky, you want to be grabbing oh, that orb. That. That was dumb. Shut the door, please. That was bad stream. Do not do what I just did. Shower's clear. They could go B. If that sage had peaked earlier when the door was open and I'm in dog form. Yeah, that was rough. That was not that was not good. That was not good Valorant gameplay. That was so dumb. Don't do what I just did there, stream. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a shock duck comes in and a drone, so I'm trying to spam through the smoke. I flashed the drone off because I kind of want to punish it. Me, but because I got pinged before, I couldn't swing for the drone. Jet dashes out. I tried to do damage to her. Spray through the oh, smoke. They've already jumped out the the uh, the window smoke and killed me. But it just shows how good smokes are. They really have to kind of push through the bomb site, you know? That they could run up. The flash actually probably stopped them yeah. from wanting to come up as much. But if anyone was in the smoke that didn't get blind, they would have just ran up and, and kind of swarmed onto me. So uh, he should keep pushing. Pause it here quickly. Um, yeah, so the drone tagging me means that anyone running up long knows where I am, and because I'm the sky, teams are normally scared of getting flashed out long. But they see me running back and they see me not throwing a flash, therefore they can run up and kind of really crunch the site. So it's really important not to get tagged by that drone in your rank game. Um, unless there's someone else there and then you flash for them, but they'll see the flash coming through your kind of animations of the x-ray. They can't contest long versus me because I'm a sky play, and I have two play. flashes, so they'll just be constantly scared of me. I shouldn't have flashed here, but I've done it anyway. Yeah, because the brim pushed hooker, go so I didn't really need to flash long, but it doesn't matter too much. It just means that it's a heavy, heavy A right now if there's no one. Ah! So when you're in this TP, ideally you just want to kind of stay alive for as Do long that. as you can and be as annoying as possible, you know? Try and find more, 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 the easy kills with your flashbang through the door and then your teammates kind of will crunch on them naturally, you know? And that's kind of what's happened. I spam that kind of angle there. I don't know if this... I think my bullets do go through there. That's not a bad spam because a lot of people like to play there. Really uh, a lot of people like to play there. And that's just one you just got to be careful of them peeking so you from uh, the, uh, the jungle angle. Like that is super good. Hmm. So this round, I get into the long cubby. Uh, we call this tens because when we played them at Iceland, he wrecked us from it. Um, chamber went for the peak and I was kind of baiting for the chamber. Oh my goodness, that was crisp. 360 hertz low latency, baby. Oh, that is why. Never mind. And then I do that. Oh, Great. So it's kind of risky me swinging like that. Uh, I actually don't like playing near the TP. I do it. It's much better if you do have a dash to get out or like some way of getting out. But um, in ranked, I don't think it's too bad. It's probably better to stay hidden though. Grabbing the orb again, you see me just love farming orbs right Coming now. Again. 
I'm dogging. This time I dogged before TPing, which I think that's what I do in scrims. I normally dog before TPing. Oh, and that's the angle you have to be careful of when TPing. Unless you're me. I'm getting really lucky this game, aren't I? Oh my goodness. Oh, no, it's not luck. It's skill. Don't know where they the are. Bomb. So, yeah, and a, a good strat in games is not always to hold the bomb. I'm going to kill so Because long. teams might expect you, or people might expect you to hold the bomb. And the timing that you get when they're trying to clear out everything means that you can get into a really advantageous oh position, you know? Mm, so, first round stream, I'd like to go with a dog, I think. Alright, so dogging into hooker, pretty good strat, you know, pushes them off the hooker window. Seen one long and one back sight, so I kind of want to get my flash high to kind of cover that angle. So I flashed high there, it's hard to see it though, but I did flash quite high to get the back sight angle. Race nade comes in, but I think he came in too much to the left, you want to kind of centre that nade. You know? And now I'm just running because the enemy team is full rotated to this bomb site. I get the plant down as well. Chase this is the off angle of a sentry stream. Heaven. One big kill. One oh, second big kill. Can you see it? So I was going to flash my teammate, but like I always say, team, okay. play time. When yeah, the bomb is down, you play time. So I've, I've actually... Doing the old wraparound. I'm biggest troll in EU. So in this scenario, like we're in a 2v2 situation and we've made a lot of presence towards A. Don't be afraid in your rank games to just call your teammates to like TP. Yes, you might meet that Sova there, but it's really unlikely, you know. Uh, it's, mo it's more likely that he's already flanked like and he's in market. Or they're both like towards CT spawn backside area. And uh, you get the bomb plant for free and you get to push elbow, get really good after plant position. So don't be afraid to take that TP. Um... Because it does win you games, and it looks like we've won 13 1. So that was a complete dominant performance on Sky there. Absolute love to see it. Um, hopefully, your games will be like that as well, stream. You too could have games like that on Sky. If you want me to go over the attack side, I will actually do it now quickly. We didn't really get to watch many attack side rounds, so I thought. I'll just quickly show you what Sky can do on attack side. So, what can Sky do towards long? You can you can come here. Uh, and you can dog and you dog up and then you run up and if they have a viper wall like going across So let's pretend they have a viper wall going across here uh, One you have two options you either wait for your teammate like you wait for it to go down But if your teammates really want to rush you just pop flash through here, okay? And then you just fight the site. There's no point like whipping out another flash for back site. Just pop flash, get it kind of high because you might actually get some angles here as well But ideally you want to kind of cover these kind of close angles here, all right? Uh, and even uh, probably this angle, all right? So that's what that's what Sky can do t towards long. If you want to mix it up a little, what you do is you actually flash here and then run up and you have to be a bit careful of them flashing you back. And then once you're here, you can then dog. And then you like using your dog here, you get the smokes going from your teammate. And that's a slightly different kind of tempo and style. Uh, what Sky can do towards hooker. So mid round, you can obviously like dog into hooker like I did in the VOD and then like flash here on the window. That's one one idea. Another thing you can do is ask for your teammates to kind of walk here and then like in a rank game style you just kind of pop flash in and then you just go. So you do a flash and then another flash or like similar to the long style you do a flash and then you just tuck into this corner and then dog out and like clear out the site with the dog. On short I think it's always best to come from this side uh, nowadays with the new box because then the new box will kind of cover your run up a little bit. But coming from this side isn't too bad. You, ju you just could get like raise needed a lot easier, you know, or like Sova shock darted. Um, but I don't think it's too bad from either side, really. Um, uh, as long as this is like, if this has a Viper smoke, then great. If it doesn't, then your dog could just die anyway. But hopefully some teammates are like following behind the dog ready to kind of trade the person swinging um so you dog up and i'd say like if your teammates have done a wall like this uh because th we call this the fpx wall if your teammates have done a wall like this then it's always worth just peeking through the wall and then going into lamps um just in case someone plays close and ranked if your teammates have gone from more as more a style of a wall like this then i think it's good to kind of clear out the uh the the truck 
similar kind of style really and then clear out the lamps you normally get to about here you don't really stun anyone but you can like dash your dog into here and it will clear like these angles here right um and then it's all about like flashing so when it comes to flashes obviously if they have a smoke here then you might not even need to dog you can just walk up behind the smoke get on this box pop flash through phew, like that all right and then I'd say like the next flash would be to kind of like you if your teammates aren't in showers, you want to know if anyone's in showers. Maybe you want to flash like a jet dashing into lamps, you know, or like a rays satcheling into lamps. Um, I don't think the backside flashes are too helpful in this scenario because you never know if you would not want it to kind of clear out this area or like say if someone's here or here. Uh, say you've got smokes going on here. You might want to you might need it for other scenarios. OK. So flashing backside doesn't really do much here. I don't think so. Uh, unless someone's about to like use it. But uh, maybe flashing backside stops them from like being as confident. But I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. Now showers. So you can flash obviously at the start if they're in it. If you have ulti it's quite good to dog as well. Because then, you're, and then the idea is that you use your flash and your dog. And then like you can go anywhere on the map. You know you can go here. You can go here. You can go here. And then instead of dogging, like in normal positions, you just ulti and you can actually run with it. So that's just how Sky works. Like if you have your ulti, you better just use your dog somewhere and just make presence, I feel like, because it just makes sense to, you know. Yeah, so yeah, you can flash at the start or you do no flash and you dog in like that. Or you do no util and you just walk in. But I think because it's ranked... You're better off just using some util, you know, like getting in, getting into these areas, pushing them off and uh, making them scared, you know. And I'd say that's pretty much it for Sky. Uh, once you're on site, if there's like smokes on site, you can like probably, if you're feeling really ballsy, pop flash through it. And the same with like all the other positions as well. You could technically, if you really wanted to, pop flash through the elbow smoke, but I don't think it's that good. But it's really basic. You're just Sky's just there to kind of brute force the kind of main areas, uh, you know. And then after that, it's all your other characters and all your other agents that will help clear out the site. But you're just there to kind of get you into those positions. All right. So that's the end of this video. I hope you learned something on Bind. I uh, hope your Sky is as godlike as mine. <laughs> Sorry I have not been posting too much recently in terms of these kind of VOD reviews. It's because I've been preparing so hard for VCT and I, I really want to qualify for Masters, okay? So uh, uh, please forgive me, but hopefully you learned something from this one. So thanks for watching. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment if you want some of this la 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 lovely content.